What is going on everybody? It is your boy Nothing But Skills and today I'm bringing you guys another division video. Today's video is going to be focused on the support station and only the support station and the reason why is because we had a big nerf to it and a lot of people have been asking me in my videos, hey what's going on with the support station? How do you use it now? What does it do? Does it even give you a big heal anymore? And I'm going to tell you guys right off the bat, yes you can get a really good heal off of it but you can't drop it and pop it. So now when you use a support station and you drop it and pop it, look at the heal you get. So you drop it, you pop it. <laughs> That's pretty much nothing right there, right? That's like one eighth of the overheal you used to get. That's really tough. That's tough on a lot of players because a lot of people would use that as their main heal, right? Like you see in my character right here, I have a pulse. I would use the immune box as my heal and that's it. Like I would have make kits, my immune box, to to drop it and pop it and I wouldn't run a booster shot I wouldn't run an overdose but that all changed right we don't have that anymore so now we have to adapt to what the support station does now so how long do you have to leave it down to get the full box some people say eight seconds some people say 10 seconds so let's count real quick all right I see you right there it's okay, you get what, half your overheal? You can get a little bit better if you go up to 10 seconds. So I'm gonna drop it down, we'll count again, we'll hit 10 seconds, and then I'll blow it up. So at 10 seconds, it's the max, and I'll show you that right now. So I drop the box down. So you can see it's a lot better. It's close at eight seconds, but at 10 seconds, you can get the full heal. So if we have to leave the box down for 10 seconds, what can you do different in your gameplay that you can now use it to your advantage? Well, you might have to figure out where you're gonna place the immune box. So what I've been doing on a lot of my matches, I've been dropping the immune box right here in the back. There's a barrier in front of me. Say there's a player in front of me. I drop the box right there, I'll move in front fight the guy right here and if I need to explode it I will but if I don't then I just have it right here and I'm perfectly fine fighting the guy now if he's getting me low and I need to pop it I pop it and then I have that heal so that is something you guys can do placement placement will change what you need to do with the support station so if you need to drop the support station right here if you are behind a car and there's a player right in front of you Maybe drop the support station right here and then you can fight the guy right here. If you need to explode it, you explode it. If not, you come back to it. So you need to be a little bit more tactical, right? Be a little bit more tactical on how you place the support station. And that's all I can tell you guys is I'm still running the support station. A lot of times I'm running a double heal. I'll run a booster shot, an overdose, and then I'll run an immune box on a lot of my builds. But I'm still running the immune box station and the reason why is because it does a lot for you if you're in this circle they can't put that predator's mark bleed on you if someone drops a shock turret they can't shock you if you're in this circle so that's what it's really good for too so if someone drops a shock turret hopefully you can focus them before they have a chance of focusing your box and if they do focus your box hit them make them have to pop their heel or whatever they have to do and Hopefully you can drop them before they can drop you. But the Mew Box still has a benefit to it that you won't get anywhere else. And that's why when players are crying about Predator's Mark, yes, Predator's Mark is tough. But if you place your box in a good location, that Predator's Mark either has to run near you, throw a grenade, and at that time, hopefully you guys are fighting each other that he doesn't have time to throw a grenade. Yes, he may be able to stop focusing you, start focusing the box. But if you put it in a good location, he has to run all the way around. Say if it's on the opposite side of this car and he's right here and he's fighting you. He has to come all the way around to shoot that box. And that's a lot of time. By the time he comes all the way around, shoots that box, hopefully you're dropping him. So where you place the box is important in this patch. And once people learn how to place the box in better locations and learn to play with the box, I feel like people would be able to use more builds. Right now we're seeing a few of the same builds and I can see why. And I'll be working on a couple builds myself. Remember the support station, if you use it right, if you place it right, you'll be perfectly fine. None of that dropping and popping it, but you can still get the full benefit of the box. That pretty much wraps up this video, guys. I just wanna say thank you guys again for all the support. What do you guys think about the support station? Are you kinda of upset about it? Do you understand why they nerfed it? Do you not really care? You're gonna to adapt to it? Let me know in the comment sections. I just wanna say thank you guys again. If you don't see me in last stand, if you don't see me in skirmish, if you don't see me in the dark zone, it's only a matter of time. Nothing but skills is out.